Team World, I recently uh, got permission from Jake Gallon to try and uh, upload and transmit one of his uh, one hour videos via the Bitcoin testnet and SUP. And so I thought I'd make a quick video uh, showing that process. And what you see right now is the object minting screen. So I'm just going to uh, fill it out and publish the video here in real time while I'm recording it. Uh, so for this one in the name, we're actually going to put uh, the, uh, the title of the object. So I'm going to grab that. I have this kind of pre-canned for me. Uh, and you can see it, uh, put a long, long name in there. Basically, I just copied the uh, title that was in the video. And then I'm going to hit the crown button, which will actually go and get me an address from my local Bitcoin wallet that it's going to use to associate uh, with this object. So I'm going to click that. Uh, and now I can see the instructions here is telling me what to do. I can add images and videos. So next I'm going to add a thumbnail to this, which I created uh, by just uh, going to your uh, YouTube video and I kind of pasted, copied and pasted the screen uh, and I kind of cropped it. So it doesn't look so perfect, but hey, I think, I think you'll like this. So the, the one I chose, uh, and I'm going to click it a couple times, and you can see now it says up here in the corner, the first ever NFT platform. Uh, episode 255 is the one that I have chosen. And I had to click it a couple times because the first time I clicked it, it uploaded it to IPFS. The second time I clicked it, it actually downloaded it from IPFS and pinned it. And I recommend doing that so then you know that the whole process is there. Uh, you, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that, but I like to see them show in the boxes. And then the next step, I'm actually going to attach the video. And you, what you just saw there is it actually did uh, send that to IPFS uh, directly. And now I'm going to do the same thing with your video. If I can find it. Here it is. And I'm going to do the same thing, and it is now uploading it. I see a window here where it's telling me it's uploading it, and it's done. It has just uploaded it. I'm going to click on it again, and now it's, I see a window, and it's downloading it, and it's done. And we're going to click on it again just to verify, yes, now it shows up in the preview window, so it's ready to go. For the URI, I'm actually going to put uh, a link to the actual video uh, that exists out on YouTube. We'll consider this to be a uh, kind of just a, uh, a demo kind of backup. But uh, from the object, when they click on this, they'll be able to go to your YouTube video. Uh, the next thing, I'm grabbing your description from your video. <clears throat> and so this is basically uh, kind of simulating a traditional NFT, but it is still using Bitcoin testnet uh, for, to store all of the meta uh, information for the object. So this is a testnet IPFS uh, example right here. Uh, and this is a good example to show how you can do very large objects uh, via IPFS. I'm going to leave it as uh, a license, no license, all right reserve, or no license, all right reserves. I'm not going to put any attributes on it. Uh, maximum of, that doesn't really matter for this. Uh, it'll be... Uh, uh, it'll be self-signed, so I do not have to put anything into the creator's uh, field either. I'm going to add a keyword to this. Uh, we're going to add one called uh, Jake Gallon, all lowercase. And then that way it'll be easier for you to find this. Uh, if you did have an account here, you could have used your own here, and then your name would show up in there instead of just an address, is what you'll see when I do this. Uh, this will be self-signed, so I'm going to actually grab the address that I created uh, for the token. I'm going to say that that address owns uh, one copy of this. Uh, there could be all kinds of quantities. Of, uh, I tested it to 9 billion. <clears throat> and that's basically the process. The next step then is hitting this mint button, and that will mint it. And then uh, if you have the live monitor on, within three seconds... Uh, Anywhere in the world, uh, you will see this video come across. And that's about to happen now here and just as soon as I hit this button. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, is I, I went once one over. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't see that negative one there. Oops, my bad. Hey, you know, I'm doing this in live. Uh, there is a max. It's it's trying to prevent. Uh, and it's uh, I put a max of 888 characters in there uh, just to kind of put some sort of restriction on here. And so it uh, wasn't letting me mint. Now I should be able to mint it. All right, we'll hit the button now. It's asking me, are you sure you want to mint it? We'll say yes. And boom, it's done. That's it. Your video is now published. And uh, I'm looking at the live monitor on the other side of the room. And yes, your video has just been distributed. And anyone watching uh, will see this uh, out on sub. Have a great night.